Hi guys, this is May and welcome to Cooking 101. Hi guys, it's May here. Welcome to my channel and welcome to Cooking 101. It's a beautiful Monday afternoon right now. Today we're going to have this fish over here, you guys. This is bangus. For those of you that are non-Filipino, bangus is milk fish. One of the, you know, the best fish to eat. And yet, this kind of fish is very bony. So, if you guys are going to try to eat this fish, especially if this is your first time, please be very, very careful of the bones because this one has a lot of bones. But it has one of the good meat and especially the belly, you guys. This belly here, oh, one of the best. One of the best to eat. So, anyhow, for today, we're going to make paksiu. And for those of you that are non-Filipino, paksiu is just fish cooked in vinegar, but it has a lot of spices in it. And it, you know, it, it, it has a very nice flavor, especially for those of you who loves sour dishes. So anyhow, let's go for my ingredients for today for my paksiu na bangus. I have here three tablespoons of the fish sauce. Here, instead of using the regular vinegar, friends, I'm using the spice vinegar. One of one reason why I love using spice vinegar is because it's already spice and we don't have to add too much spices. Although, over here on my table right now, I still have quite a few, but to use a spice vinegar in your when you when you cook paksiu, oh, it tastes so good. And this is the brand that I'm using. And for those of you who would like to use the same brand that I'm using right now, you can get this one in any Asian supermarket. So, okay, friends, let's go for the rest of my ingredients. I have here some ginger, two tablespoons of the Noor seasoning mix, whole black peppercorn, spring onions or scallions, and for my paksiu for today, guys, I'm using the bitter melon. I love bitter melon. When I make my paksiu, it adds a good flavor. Yes, bitter melons are so bitter. But when it's mixed with something else, especially with vinegar and fish, oh, it tastes so good. Over here, I have some Thai chili. If you guys don't want any spices, you know, if you don't want any hot spice, you guys don't have to add Thai chili. But with myself, I like to have a little bit kick on my food. So I'm adding Thai chili on that. I have here some bay leaves, a couple of bay leaves here. Using two, I'm using two of the lemongrass, you guys. Because we have a lot of fish, and I love my fish with lemongrass. Oh, it, it gives a good smell, and at the same time, it gives a good flavor. Over here, I have five cloves of garlic. Chop. I have two whole big onions. I love onions, especially when I'm making paksiu. It adds good flavor. And with my with my bitter melon here, you guys, I'm also adding some eggplants. These are long Japanese eggplants. So if you guys don't like eggplant, you guys don't have to uh, put anything on it. So, okay, let's start cooking. I'm going to use this wok to cook my paksil for today. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to put some layers underneath so that when we add our fish, it's not going to stick at the bottom of the wok. There. Okay, and now we're going to put our lemongrass. We're going to put our lemongrass in the center. There. And guys, before anything else, don't forget to crack the end, okay? Because this end is the one giving you the nice smell, the nice flavor. So you guys have to crack it. Next our garlic bay leaves onions don't be afraid to use a lot of onions you guys onions always good for you 
Ya. And now, we're going to layer our fish. So, we're going to put our fish here. Hmm. They are more pricey than the regular pri than the regular size, but this one is the best one to eat when they are huge like this. You can really taste the meat there. All right. Okay, friends. Sorry, I forgot to mention a while ago that we're also going to use this cool running garlic pepper and herb spices this is ideal for meat fish seafood and veggies so we're going to season our fish with this and this is just herbs guys so let's not be afraid to use it herbs is good for the food all right and for those of you that are here in north america you can get this one in any walmart um location now we're going to add our whole black peppercorn our nor seasoning mix our scallions the rest of our onions garlic, the rest of our ginger, our Thai chilies, one cup of spice vinegar, mm, that's good you guys, three tablespoons of fish sauce, mm. Yummy. And now we're going to put the rest of our eggplant. Oh, guys, it smells so good in here. Right. And the top is our bitter melons. Look at this dish. This is good for 10 people, you guys. We're going to cover them up and we're going to uh, let it simmer for 20 minutes and then we're going to check our fish and I'll show you guys the next step. Friends, sorry, I, may, I forgot to mention that we also need to put half a cup of water. So I'm putting the water here. So one cup of vinegar, half a cup of water. Okay, now let's cover this one up and we're going to let it simmer for 20 minutes. Cover them. Ooh. I think it should be okay. As long as there's a cover on top, then that's fine. Okay. Okay, friends, after 20 minutes, let's check our fish. Mm. I'm not going to mix it. What I'm going to do is I'm going to tilt the, the wok a little bit and get the sauce and do it this way. Let's cover them back. And we're going to let it simmer again for another 20 minutes. Okay friends, after 20 minutes, let's check our fish one more time. Ooh. Okay, let's dip this one and put the sauce on top. Okay friends, before we season it with salt and pepper, let's try the sauce first. Well friends, this one, we don't need to season it with salt. The amount of fish sauce that we put earlier, which is 3 tablespoons, is good enough. We're just going to add some black pepper on top. 
I know I put some peppercorns, but with black pepper, it adds a nice flavor and a nice kick. Alright, so we're going to cover this one for another 5 minutes and then I'll show you guys the finished product. Friends, this is our finished product. This is our paksiw na bangus with ampalaya at talong. Milkfish cooked in vinegar with bitter melons and eggplant. If you guys like this video, please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. And also, if you haven't subscribed on my channel yet, you guys, please don't forget to subscribe. Thank you guys for watching. Have a blessed day, everyone. And may the good Lord bless us all. Guys, I want you to try this recipe.